Hi there. Today I'm delighted to be looking at a wine from Rioja. I have here a, a Reserva from Bodegas Muga. This is the 2018 vintage of that. Uh, Muga, a family owned bodega, um, founded in the, the town of Harrow in the, the northern part of the Rioja Alta, so right at the north of the Rioja region, um, in 1933 by Isaac Muga, uh, along with um, Aurora Cañal. Um, so a, a family owned business that has over time built up some really good holdings of um, vineyards. So it has its winery in the town of Harrow itself and um, uh, its vineyards in, in the villages surrounding um, that part of the, the, the northern Rioja Alta. Um, and true to the name Rioja Alta, some of these are quite high altitude vineyards. So I mean, the, there are vineyards at um, levels of up to about 550 metres above sea level. Um, tending to give high quality fruit because they're, um, they're getting cooling influences from altitude and therefore a sort of later ripening. Um, so great places to grow both Tempranillo and Ganacha. Um, the, um, the wines of, of Muga tend to, tend to have quite a modern expression of Rioja. There's a lovely rich fruit that's supported by um, by some quite um, obvious oak flavours and all beautifully in integrated. Um, but, but that's achieved by using some really quite traditional approaches to winemaking. There's no sort of flashy technical um, input particularly. Um, so it, uh, it, part of their ethos is, is the use of oak. All the red wines will um, ferment in, in oak fermenters. So. Um, they have, in fact, four fermentation cellars with a, a collection of um, oak casks and open top fermenters um, that, that vary in size between about 3,000 and 15,000 litres, enabling them to keep um, different batches of wine, but whether from different plots or different varieties or varieties within plots, separate until blending and giving them increasing options. And that, that helps to maximise the quality of the finished wine. Um, to this end, they're actually one of the few um, Rioja producers who, who claim to have um, coopers on their staff. So they, they've actually got four of them there, three, three guys to deal with the barrels, and uh, one who is, is termed a cubero, who is somebody who specialises in maintaining um, large oak uh, barrels and casks. Um, so that's something of a specialisation of theirs. Um, and, and actually, that's kind of reflected in the, the wines they produce. It's, it's interesting that you don't see a wine from Muga um, with the term Criantha on the label. It's sometimes this particular wine evidently is, is labelled without the term Reserva on the label and, and is occasionally marketed by merchants in Spain um, as Criantha. But I've yet to see it actually labelled as Criantha somewhere, which which seems strange. But um, a anyway, that, I think that um, that's tied up with the quality ethos that they're trying to try to produce wines at the higher quality levels here. Um, this particular wine is a, is a blend of um, four of the Rioja grape varieties, so principally Tempranillo with um, Garnacha, um, Malzuelo, and uh, Graciano. So um, not an unusual. Um, blend there. It spends 24 months in oak, having having been fermented in oak originally. And all fermentation, I should say, ha happens with indigenous yeast. So again, very um, uh, yeah, quite an old fashioned ap approach completely. Um, and then the wines will, uh, the reserva will spend another year once it's been blended and bottled um, in the uh, bodega aging before it is released. And, and Actually, prior to bottling, um, fining takes place with um, with egg white, um, so possibly not a vegan option there. So uh, yeah, let's let's try the wine and see see what we think of it. First of all, the colour. The colour has a lovely vibrancy. It's a, uh, a, a I guess it's a mid ruby red. With a, a, the, there are purple hints to the rim. Um, there's there's quite good pigmentation. As I swirl it, I can see a um, I can see a red note to the tears that, that flow down the, the glass there. Let's have a smell. That, that's a delicious aroma, and it's, it's a combination of ripe fruit and, and quite clean oak. So you've got a sort of a, 
ripe, slightly small, sp slightly spicy mulberry um, note, um, which is supported by vanilla. You know, there's quite a, a rich vanilla and there's quite a rich ripeness to the fruit. Um, and then behind that, that vanilla, so vanilla probably derived from the oak, uh, there are more cedary notes that give a sort of a sweet spice, a cinnamon um, note. So there's, there's plenty going on on the nose and it's quite intense. So that's, that's really good. Let's have a taste. The wine is well structured. There's plenty of tan in there. But although they're grainy, there's a richness and a ripeness to the fruit that's stopping that from being astringent. So, and also, there's a lovely freshness. I'm actually, there's a mouth-watering freshness, and that's lifting the red fruit that's there. You might think about raspberries, but actually it's, it's richer than raspberry. It's through to a sort of a mulberry note. Um, and that's supported by um, lively vanilla notes and an underlying quite clean cedar um, cedary oak note um, which I suppose is, is leaving sweet spice on the finish um, the wine's medium to full body it's not huge um, there's 14% alcohol there so there's a richness and a ripeness and a warmth to the finish it's not hot um, but that is picking out the um, the spiciness at the end there, so there's a cinnamon note to finish with. Um, there's a nice intensity to the fruit. I'm talking about the red fruit elements because they're right to the fore. But as it sits in the mouth, there's, there's also, you're, you're noticing a sort of a sort of dark licorice brooding core of fruit there as well. Um, and then that opens back out to show sort of red fruit to, to the finish. Um, so yes, a really super wine. It comes across as being quite young as, to, as a 2018. I should imagine that this would quite happily uh, take four or five years to reach its peak and probably stay there for another decade or so. I mean, this is a, a serious wine that can stay in the cellar for a while. So um, thank you very much for, for listening. I hope you find that interesting. Um, do join us again. Bye now.